and now we should be able to collect all of the balls and we can. Hey there, I'm your host Lesoi and in today's video we will be creating a magnetic pull. And with that said, let's begin. To get started, we will open up our content drawer and over here we want to right click and create a new folder called magnet. Let's open up this folder, right click, go to blueprint and create a blueprint interface, calling it BPI for blueprint interface underscore magnetic field or whatever you want to call it. Magnetic works as well. And let's open this up. In here then, our function, so press F2 to rename it and we'll call it our attract. That's all we need. We'll compile and save. Next, let's head back over to our content drawer. We want to right click and create a blueprint class called actor component. And this will be our blueprint component for our actors. So let's call it BPC underscore magnet. And let's open this up. In here then, we want to create a function which will act as the collision sphere for our magnets. So we'll call it our get magnetic field. Oops. We want a D on that. And then in here, we'll do a sphere collision by channel like so. And for this, we could also go ahead and create a magnetic channel. So let's go ahead, go to settings, project settings, type trace on the top, new trace channel called magnetic. And we'll make it ignore by default and hit accept. So back in our blueprint component magnet, we want to get the owner, which will refer to our player character and do get actor location. And this then will be fed into the start and the end. For the radius of our sphere, we can promote this to a variable, calling it our magnetic radius, let's say. And if we compile, we can give this a value. So let's give it a value of, let's say, 350 is good. We can always change this later on our player. Now, for the trace channel, once we compile, this should allow us to see our magnetic trace, and it does. And just for testing purposes, I'll do for one frame. Then we'll get a branch, so be a left mouse. And this will go in here. For out hit, we want to break this open. And we want to check if our hit actor, so we'll do does object implement interface. The interface we are checking for is going to be our BPI underscore magnetic. So if that's the case, if they do implement it, we'll grab another branch. And from here, we want to grab the hit actor and promote this to a variable again. So this will be our target actor, like so. We can also reroute the spin here. And at the very end, from the actor, we can do attract message. So this will then call the attract event inside of our actor, which will implement this interface. So that's all we need to do here. Let's also set this to be false if, or to be nothing if it's false. Control C, Control V, and we're done with this function. So let's compile and save. Then on the graph on event begin play, let's do a set timer by event. So this is how often this will run. So let's drag from the event to custom event update magnetic field. Oops, again. And the time for this is up to you. I'll do 0 0.2 seconds, found that to be good. And of course, we want this to be looping. Then we'll get our get magnetic field. Look at it, and we're good. So let's compile and save this. We also need to add this component to our player. Otherwise, nothing will happen. So third person, blueprints, third person character. And let's add our component, bpc underscore magnet. Compile and save that. Now, the last thing that we want to do is we want to add an object to pick up. Now, this could be your coins, your potions, whatever you want it to be. So we'll go to our content drawer, open up our magnetic folder, right click, go to blueprint class and select actor. And we'll call this BP underscore ball. 
and let's open it up. So the first thing in here, we'll go to class settings and we want to add in our interface, which was BPI underscore magnetic. With that added, then we'll add a static mesh. Again, this could be literally anything. I'll be adding in a sphere. So let's see if we can find one. And we got one here, shape underscore sphere. So another thing which is important, we need to make sure that they block the trace channel for magnetic. So select your static mesh, type in collision, and collision presets will do custom and will select block on the magnetic trace, like so. And if, for example, you had your actor already created and you don't see this, simply compile and magnetic trace should show up. Next, inside of our event graph, we want to right click on the attract um, event and in, under interfaces. Again, this comes from our class settings, which is our PPI underscore magnetic. So in here, then we want to do get player character and do cast to our third person character like so. And then we want to check if our player does indeed um, have the component class of PPC underscore magnet. So we'll do get class for short, and we should see it there, get component by class, and check for PPC underscore magnet. So if they in fact do have this, we'll do is valid as well. Good to check if they have this. Well then, we'll grab our default scene root and do move component to. So if it's valid, we are moving that. Now the location, we can do that for our player. So get actor location. Log it in like so. And with that, we can do ease in over time, let's say 0.3. And once this has been completed, we'll destroy this actor. So this ball over here will be gone. So with that, let's compile and save. And if we put in a few balls into our level, let's also make them a little bit smaller. 0.5 shall do. And Alt drag to duplicate them and see how many we can collect or if we can collect them. Oh, we can. Okay. Ah, yes. So this will be an issue. So back inside of our ball, before we do any of this, Let's grab our static mesh and do set collision enabled to be no collision. That way we've checked if they implement this component. If they do, well then we'll disable the collision and move the component to us. Compile and save. And now if we play, it should work perfect. And it does. We can also go ahead and disable the to two, where is our component? Wrong thing. We can disable our draw to be none, so we don't see any collisions. Play again, and this is what we get. So this will be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and as always, happy developing.